So it's, now, along this line, you have mail, you've referenced Jupiter. You might have said, I think you said Europa for a minute. So there's different opinions in the science community about which place to explore with how, how much money, right? Yeah, I mean, until basically all this money was cut by the White House, right? So that's like, I think that's really pushed a lot. Those are Those are internal, you know, it's like, we have a certain amount of steady funding. Let's kind of figure out where to put our efforts. And, and over you time, you say that was a good process or good yeah, enough. I mean, I think that's the best, best, you know, it's an ongoing process, but it's an open and deliberative process. There's always going to be disagreements. But the point is that there's, you have these external factors of just the big questions. Mm. What big questions are we trying to answer? Where did we come from? Functionally, that's like, they are, are we alone they're in They're all the related universe? to that. Like, how did these things form? Why does the solar system the way it is? How did life arise? Uh, what is the, again, the nature of dark matter, dark energy? These are all frontier science things. And that's what uh, you bring up in terms of China's space ambitions. Their scientific motive, uh, program is ramping up to answer the same questions. Right. And so, they're, they're like people in many ways. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's so, I mean, they're driven by the same, you know, and there's right. all these aspects of national pride and, are you going to be the nation that discovers the future or not? Yeah. But they also, you have to remember, uh, well, we all have to remember that their government invests in mm -hmm. these technologies well, so did that we, don't. Us, we did. US, yeah. But that's what I'm saying.